Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this minimal home decor website. This website design is perfect for many different business types. So whether you sell home decor, clothing, or furniture, you can follow this tutorial. And this website is mobile and desktop responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. In this video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. I'm going to open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes, and I'll be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for our website. Click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen, and when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm going to click on this header, and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to middle center. This way your logo will display in the center of the website. Under desktop menu type, if you would like to hide your menu, you can apply the drawer menu. When you scroll down and then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header, and right here you can remove that effect. You can also select always if you would like the header to remain at the top of the website. Then right here you can retitle the announcement bar text. You can also select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Click theme settings then logo. Here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. Then under desktop logo width you can increase the size of your logo. Click typography and I'm going to be changing the main font to the font Cormorant. When customers click catalog, it will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store, then navigation, and open your main menu. Here you can edit the current menu items, and you can add new menu pages. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. Next I'll be showing you how I designed the slideshow section. To design the slideshow section, right here I'm going to import a slideshow. Then I'm going to scroll down and remove this image banner, and I'm going to remove this featured collection. I'm going to remove the heading text and the subheading, then remove the container. Apply the outline button style, then under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Then you can retitle this button label and select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for the second slide. And under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these two main web banners. I've opened up Canva and I'm going to click custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to do for the web banner are 4320 by 2160 pixels. Click elements. Then I'm going to scroll down and insert an image frame. Then I'm going to insert a square shape. Then I'm going to search for a faded circle element and upload one of these onto the page. Then I'm going to position this behind that frame and that square element. That will create a subtle shadow effect. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro batch. When you click upload, under upload files, you can upload your brand and product photos straight from your computer. Then you can just drag and drop those pictures onto those frames. Then I'm going to upload a text box and apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm going to duplicate this and create a larger text box right below it. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text right below that. Next I'm going to upload a square shape, change this to the color white, and next I'm going to search for a faded rectangle element, and I'm going to position this behind that text box. I'm going to upload another rectangle element and add this to the top of the page, just to give it a little more dimension. Click add page, then I'm going to copy and paste this faded effect, and I'm going to copy and paste one of these Polaroid images. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures, and then I'm going to duplicate this text box, and I'm also going to create a smaller tagline text right below that. Once you're finished, these will be our two web banners for the slideshow section. I'm going to download each of these pages in a PNG format for the best quality. Then here on Shopify, when you click select image, you can upload that main web banner design. I'm going to click on the slideshow bar and under slide height, I'm going to set this to adaptive first image. I'm also going to set the pagination style to dots. You can select auto rotate slides if you would like the slides to automatically rotate themselves. Then I'm going to upload that second web banner design. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the main slideshow section of the website. 
By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template in a downloadable format in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me putting together throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the collection list. So right here, I'm going to import a collection list. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Enable the swipe on mobile. Then you can enable the view all button if you have more than four collections. When you click on a collection, it will allow you to select which collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories that you can create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your shop organized. Once you're finished, that's how I added the collection list. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the About Us section. Right here, I'm going to insert an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then you can retitle this section and insert your About Us section text. You're going to remove the second button label. Then you can retitle this first button label and select a link. I'm going to apply the outline button style. Then when you click select image, you can upload a background image for this section. I'll be uploading a simple white marble background. And under image behavior, I'm going to apply the fixed background position. Under banner heights, I'm going to set this to small. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the about us section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the shop qualities section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading and the button label. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center and remove the column background. When you click on a column, under heading, you can list the shop qualities that your store offers. For an example, you can put quality materials or fast shipping. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed those icons. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Then you can search for the icons to represent each of those shop qualities. Once you're done, you can download each of these pages individually. Then upload them into each of these columns on Shopify. Then under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the featured product collection. So right here, I'm going to import a featured collection. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Be sure to enable the view all button if your collection has more than four products. Then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best selling product collection. Once you're done, that's how I added the featured product collection. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the displayed customer reviews section. Right here, I'm going to import a multi column. You can retitle this section, and I'm going to remove the button label. Then I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Then set the column alignment to center. When you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the customer's review. I'll be using this text as an example, and I'd recommend putting the customer's name, and you can also insert a link leading straight to the product they left their review on. For this section, you're also going to want to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the display to customer feedback section. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. So right here, I'm going to import an image banner. You can retitle this section. Then I'm going to remove the second button label. On Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Click element. Then I'm going to upload one of their image grids. Then I'm going to upload another faded effect. And I'm just going to position this behind that second image frame. This will create a subtle shadow effect. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a text box, apply the font beautifully delicious, then put this in bold. I'm going to duplicate this and put another version on the bottom left side of the page. Next, you can download this page and upload it into that image banner section. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section of the website. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the email signup and the featured blog post section. Right here, I'm going to insert an email signup and I'm going to retitle this heading. Right below that section, I'm going to import a multi row. 
I'm gonna be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. And these will represent your two featured blog posts. When you click on a row, you can insert the title for that blog post. I'll be using this text as an example, and you can also put a mini description of that blog post and a caption to match. Then you can retitle the button labels, and also paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then when you click select image, you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're done, that's why I added the email signup in the featured blog post section. Next, I'm gonna show you how I design the Instagram post section. Right here, I'm gonna import an image banner, and I'm gonna remove the text and the button labels. Then right below that section, I'm gonna import a rich text, and I'm gonna remove the text. Then I'm gonna apply the outline button style, and you can paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Back here on Canva, I'm gonna click add page. Then I'm gonna upload an image frame. I'm gonna duplicate this, and position this behind that main frame. And I'll be designing this section in a stair step pattern. Then under upload files, you can upload the Instagram posts that you'll be featuring and just drag and drop them onto those frames. Then I'm gonna upload a text box, apply the font Beautifully Delicious, upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Brown Sugar. I'm gonna duplicate this and create a smaller text box right below it. Then I'm gonna search for the Instagram icon and upload one of these onto the page. You're gonna upload one last text box. Here you can type in your brand's Instagram username and I'm gonna apply the font in Sheriff. then put this in italic. Then you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed that last web banner section. Right here, I'm going to import an image banner. Then you can retitle this section. And I'm going to remove the second button label. Then apply the outline button style. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add a page. Then you're going to open their image grids. And I'm going to upload a three grid. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the last web banner section. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and you can easily install that Shopify theme file and to your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you'd have to do is just add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is to set up a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included an installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.